I just threatened to bust you on fraud and larceny. At least had the decency to look guilty. Oh, oh, the prospect of prison amuses you. Okay, well, how's this? Better? Patronize me at your own peril, Mr. Lavery. It's, it's not me. It really is. It's my manner. Excuse me? I, people think I'm mocking them, but I'm, I'm really not. It gets, gets me into all, all sorts of trouble. Really? Well, that kickback scheme has actually got you more trouble than you ever bargained for. Hey, it's cool. I know, I know how stressed you are. I heard yesterday your divorce clothes. Hmm. Are, you, are you for real? You need to be good to yourself. Why don't you take some time to regroup? Do the spa thing. Oh, really? Yeah, go do the spa thing. Yeah. So you could peck away at my advertisers. By the way, how does it feel to be working with Erica Kane? Did she tell you she had me strip? What? I went to schmooze her for revenues. She had me peel down in my shorts. <laughs> I guess she pegged me for some runway jockey or something. I don't know. I tell her I'm there to move airtime. Mm. You should have seen how embarrassed she was. She okayed my specs for the spot and handed me 500 clams not to spread it around. So Erica Kane paid you hush money? Whatever. Huh. Hold that thought. Finelli's Pizza, sub company. Do they take you for a pizza jockey? How about Power Video, Sunray Tanning, Healthcrest Vitamins? What do those advertisers take you for? Or, more to the point, what did you take them for? No, don't tell me, because I have the figures. See, I guess you've amassed a healthy nest egg tax-free. I assume you'll be filing the short form this year. You know, the one that doesn't have that little spot for illegal kickbacks? Come on. As long as I'm showing you results, what difference does what it difference make? What difference does it make? The difference is that you work for me. It is my butt on the line. Did you, did you ever hear about those payola scandals in the 50s? <laughs> Sorry, not my era. Oh, well, then let me get you up to speed. You see, the music industry was rocked when DJs took incentives to give preferred records airtime. Stations went under. Careers were blown. Are you getting the connection here, Ryan? I don't want the freaking FCC on my back. If WRCW loses its broadcasting license because a skimmer like you decided to go into business for himself on the company's dime, well, I hope that you've amassed a great big fortune to pay a big fat lawyer. Otherwise, you're going to end up in prison with a six-foot girlfriend named Bubba. So you'd really hand me over to the cops? Nice. Oh, sorry. Uh... I need your help. Uh, Stuart, uh, what is it? <laughs> could, I, could I just talk to you alone? I'll, uh, I'm going to make myself scared. Oh, wait a second. You're not, you're not leaving this building. I will issue an APB on you, young man. This boy is out of here. Scott's gotten himself in real deep, and I'm not sure I can pull him out. Mr. Lavery, what can I do for you? Bianca's a cool name for a fragrance. I'm so glad you approve. I'd like to sit down with your marketing people when you're ready to launch. Brainstorm the campaign. Oh, your ambitions are uh, beyond selling airtime. I like to set high goals for myself. But just be careful that your uh, reach doesn't exceed your grasp. Miss Kane, Erica. I took a chance coming here today. Well, success is all about taking calculated risks. On the way over, I was thinking. Hmm. Enchantment is, is staffed with a media-savvy marketing team. Their, their, pro, their campaigns are profiled in the Wall Street Herald. They sweep the awards scene year after year. If it ain't broke, why fix it? <laughs> why indeed? Enchantment's like you. It doesn't need to sell itself with mindless eye candy. You don't go to the public the public comes to you because Erica Kane implies a certain cachet. Sophisticated yet accessible. I could get a photographer up here right now. No fancy lighting or any of that stuff. Just you and the camera. Simple, understated. Erica Kane sending a powerful message. I'm good enough. The implication being that you, ergo, the consumer deserves and demands the best, i.e. enchantment cosmetics. Sell a little self-esteem with every tube of lipstick. There you go. Have you run this by your boss? Well, you see, there's the fly in the ointment. 
No, no, no. Liza Colby, <clears throat> please. She gives all the other insects a bad name. She's making my life impossible at the well, station. Well, of course she is. She's threatened by you. <sighs> you noticed. Well, of course. I mean, you're young, you're bright, you're full of fresh ideas, you're articulate. I mean, you're everything that Liza Colby isn't. As a matter of fact, I think it's just a matter of time, a very short time, before all the executive brass there, the, the network brass, starts grooming you for a, a top management position. Not if Liza puts up a career block. Is there any way that I can help? I appreciate the offer, but I, uh, I can handle it. Well, don't sell your future short for foolish pride. I don't want to take advantage of our relationship, but maybe if you did talk to Liza, tell her how impressed you are with my work, convince her that I'm Enchantment's ticket to the top, that would really score me some major bonus points. You know something, Mr. Lavery? I already have spoken to Liza about you just this morning. <laughs> At first, she tried to tune me out, but then I held my ground. You know what I told her, Mr. Lavery? I told her that it is my firm belief that you have such disgusting business ethics and such a flagrant disregard for the law that that should get you five to ten in the state penitentiary. I ratted you out, Mr. Lavery. Thanks to me, you're dog meat. Now you get out of here before I have you thrown out. You did what you had to, and I respect that. But it's really not too late for us to come to an understanding. I'm sorry, packaged hot cocoa is the best I could do, Stuart. Mm, thanks. Is it bad? No, it, no, no, it just tastes a little bit like hot water with some nice brown tempera paint stirred in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And, and I'm sorry if you were embarrassed at the circus of the courtroom the other day. Is Marion all right? I don't know how you can ask that after everything she's put you through. Well, it wasn't all that bad. So, you want to tell me what's got you so worked up? Well, I, I had a long talk with Scott, and it doesn't seem, seem to be doing any good. He's determined to marry Jillian. Yeah, I told him he's making a big mistake. The, 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 to, to marry someone, you should be in love with him. Well, I wasn't in love with Adam. I guess I made your case, didn't I? No, I've made you sad, haven't I? No, not you, Steve. I, I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff. No, stuff. Stuff. This is the stuff that families are made of, Stuart. And no matter if I'm divorced, I still think of you and, and Scott as a part of my family. Oh. Well, he's still calling, calling it quits with Adam stings, doesn't it? Yeah, it stings. But I'll get over it. And Scott needs our help right now. We gotta stop Jillian before she stages her coup, right? You don't think Jillian loves him? Like a lion loves his lunch. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. She says that she loves him, but it, it all doesn't sound real. It sounds sort of rehearsed, like a part in a play. I, I want to believe her, for Scott's sake, but... You're such a good judge of character. Oh, in the last year, I, I don't know. What do you th really think about Jillian? I mean, really, truly. Do you think this is just an act so she can stay in the country? The princess? I'd better tin plate a title on it. Mr. Lavery, I built this company from nothing. I did not sleep my way to the top of the corporate ladder, nor did I earn my rank in the Fortune 500 by batting my big brown eyes. I invested my brains, my grit, my determination, my heart and soul in this, and, and I made my dreams a reality. And you know what the payoff is? Enchantment is one of the top five producers of quality cosmetics worldwide. Top five in the world, Mr. Lavery. Do you understand what I'm saying? Who are you? You are nothing but a shill for a small town TV station. You want to reinvent me and your image? Are you kidding? I will hire the best ad agency out of LA, out of New York. They make you look like a kid with a doodle pad. Whoa, you made your point. Only, did I, really, did you hear it? 
I messed with the wrong boss lady. That is only part of it. Come on. You didn't bend any rules en route to the top? No. Cut a few corners? Maybe a few throats? What about the corporate suits who, who cover their big, fat assets with dummy corporations or funnel the gelt into the Grand Cayman First National? It's the world we live in. No, it is not the world I live in. I reserve the right not to do business with con men and cheats, con people. I still suspect that Liza Colby, your boss, put you up to this. No way. She plays it totally straight. She had no idea what I was doing until you busted me. Well, then you just consider this my good deed for the day. Close the door on your way out. Erica, Miss Kane, we're not so different. There's got to be some way we can turn this thing around to our mutual advantage. Is there something I have that you want? You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I did some digging. And I didn't have to dig very far. It seems Jillian's father did a Monte Carlo roulette. Lost their entire fortune except for the royal seal. It seems the airhead apparent is living off credit and Edmund's largesse. The princess, like the emperor, has no clothes, no jewels, and no Swiss bank account. You mean the, 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 the paste that I stepped on and, and the sparklers in the vault? It's just, it's a big, she's just a big fibber. I gotta, I gotta warn Scott. Oh no, Stuart, 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 no. We have to be really cautious. You know, Jillian is in this for the money. She wants everything that money can buy. She's gonna marry Scott, she's gonna ask for a divorce, and then she's gonna take him to the cleaners for every dime he's got. Well, I can't think of any other way. I can't just let this happen. I, I know, Stuart. I, you, you've already tried reverse psychology, and that didn't work, right? I did? Yeah. Remember, you, you were all gung-ho about the, the marriage, hoping that Scott would see the light and he would do what was right. Well, now it's time to take a stand and forbid him to marry Jillian. No. No, he'd, he'd, he'd run right out and, and marry her anyway, just to prove that, that he doesn't take orders from his dad. We'd, no, what, what we have to do is, is let him see... Jillian's true colors. Oh, you know, a girl like Jillian he makes guys colorblind. I mean, Scott thinks he's Superman right now. He's invincible. I mean, most guys his age think that they could take anything that life throws at them. It... <laughs> well, I don't know what else to do. I, I can't just let it happen. Well, don't say die, Stuart. I have plan B. What? You, what you, you, you thought of a way out? Yeah. And it was right under my nose the entire time. What do you think? Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. All my Jillian really needs is love. She will blossom. You'll see. I, I must go now. Good night. Good night. Good night. And thank you again. Good night. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You know, I think I'd like to blossom. Mm, you can <laughs> have it. No more blossoming for me. Oh, you say that now. Wait a while. You might get sick of that matchmaker slot. Not as long as there are lonely hearts out there too proud to come in from the cold. What about those hearts with poor direction? Hmm. Well, I have a piece of cake and a dance for me. Wait a minute. I think you should have this. I have a feeling that that belongs to one of you. Bye-bye.